Late fall, early winter, snow around the Great Lakes, something that's not too unusual, but it's not always from a typical snowstorm. It can actually happen on a sunny day, but the scenario is a lot of cold air blowing over the Great Lakes. Typically what happens, you get a big dip in the jet stream. Air that could be in the 20s, teens, or single digits blows over the lakes, which are typically in the 40s, maybe even low 50s, but the point is the water is above freezing, and all that very cold air sucks up the moisture very quickly, creates clouds, and blows the clouds downwind. Now, as the clouds move downwind to the other side of the lakes, they pick up moisture and they deposit tons and tons of snow in the form of snow squalls, and those snow squalls form and continue over the exact same spot, which is why the snow totals become huge. Notice upwind of the snow squalls and the clouds, the sky is clear and it's cold, but downwind, not quite as cold. The lakes moderate the temperature and the Great Lakes also can produce lake effect snow on a sunny day.